Thank you, Chairman. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My topic is pulmonary atresia. Uh, this is a pulmonary stenosis, and its extreme form is pulmonary atresia with intact ventricular septum. And this is TOF, and the extreme form is pulmonary atresia with VSD. So these two, these are totally different one. And PAIVS, the, usually the pulmonary size is good enough, but the problem is right ventricle size is variable. However, in PAVSD, RV size is good enough, but the problem is pulmonary trees. This is the PAIVS, uh, atrotic pulmonic valve, right ventricle cavity size is real small, and to survive, ASD and PDA was present. So it looks simple disease. However, in this report in 2004 from multi-center study in the United States, it uh, shows survival rate at five years is 60% and tube ventricle repair only 33% and death before repair is 38%. So it's not a simple disease. It's a very serious one. Uh, it's very rare and it's a very heterogeneous disease group according to the right ventricle size. So sometimes they call it hypoplastic right heart syndrome. Uh, if we consider the morphology, first, RV cavity, RV cavity composed of the inlet trabecular and the outlet portion. So if we have a three portion, tripartite, only inlet and outlet, bipartite, only inlet, unipartite. We should describe this one. And according to the hypoplasia, mild, moderate, to severe hypoplasia, sometimes it's enlarged because of the Epstein-like uh, tricus valve. And also we measure the tricuspid valve G-score because tricuspid valve G-score is well correlated with the, with the RV cavity size and also check the TR grade. And also coronary artery is in, very important. During the fetal life, RV pressure was suprasystemic and uh, RV to coronary fistula may occur frequently. So we should check it. And also the infundibulum size is important for biventricular repair, and the ASTPD is, good, uh, is crucial for survival. So this is the case. RV angiogram shows inlet and outlet portion of the right ventricle, no trabecular portion, the, the bipartite, moderate to severe hypoplastic right ventricle, severe tricuspid regurgitation, and the right rib shunt through the ASD, the atrotic pulmonic valve. And sometimes when you check the right ventricle angiogram, we can see the coronary arteries, it means the uh, RV2 coronary fistula. So in this case, we should check the selective coronary angiogram, whether this patient's RV dependent coronary circulation or not. This diagram shows RV2 coronary fistula, but if there is no stenosis, we can decompress the right ventricle, no problem. But however, in this case, there are some stenosis on coronary arteries. If we decompress the right ventricle, the distal coronary flow may uh, decrease and uh, ischemia may occur. How about this case? The coronary interruption, the, the distal coronary supply from the right ventricle only, and if we decompress the right ventricle, the flow cannot go to the distal portion, so myocardial infarction may occur. So we should do uh, know the RV-dependent coronary circulation physiology. So in the same uh, article, they show the as the RV size is smaller, tracks valve G square is also smaller, and as the RV size is smaller, the RV coronary fistula is frequent. It's well correlated. So. Many initial measurements depend on the right ventricle cavity size. In mild hypoplasia, RV decompression made by a surgical pulmonary valvotomy or RVOT patch or a percutaneous balloon valvuloplasty. However, in moderate hypoplasia, RV decompression plus another source of pulmonary flow by shunt or a doctor stent. In CB hypoplasia, shunt, we can make a not make a biventricular repair. But this is general theory. It depends on the size of the right ventricle. And the goal of management, the first one is survival, and the second one is biventricular repair. It should not reverse. 
So we can compare these four institutions. Uh, first one is this institution. Why? The mortality rate is too high, so it's not a good one. And this institution uh, tracks that according to the track spell G value, they try the Fontan operation in most of cases. So it's not good. How about this one? Uh, if the track spell G value is more than minus 2, try 2 ventricle repair. If it's less than minus 2, Fontan repair. And the uh, survival rate is acceptable. And institution L, they try the biventricle repair if the track spell G square is more than minus 3. So, but the, the, the mortality rate is a little bit higher than this institution. So it depends on the institution. This one is a little bit aggressive, but this one is very safe and good result. Uh, in this patient, we, I performed the balloon valvuloplasty and successful fourth floor was made. However, this patient died because of the sepsis. So autopsy cases, we incision on the uh, MPA and uh, you can see the threat permanent valve. There is a hole made by a balloon. In the longitudinal session, section, and the track is well, uh, pulmonic valve, there is a hole in fundibulum, good, and the severe hypoplastic right ventricle and the track valve. Uh, but uh, in case we cannot make a hole with a wire on the atriotic pulmonic valve, we can use the, this kind of uh, radio frequency catheter to make a hole and uh, balloon valvuloplasty successfully. Okay, let's move on to the uh, next permanent result with the VST. There is uh, four groups, but these two groups, uh, uh, surgical repair technique is similar to TOF, so I uh, focused on the group three. The treatment option is variable, and uh, primary repair means uh, first in the first stage, unification and the VST closure and the multi-stage unification operation and the combined catheter surgery approach. I will touch one by one. First, the primary repair is mostly performed by a Frank Henry group, and they categorize the MAPCA, these four groups. First group is confluent pulmonitis and the large MAPCA without segmental stenosis. Um, it's occupied 56%. He tried the one-stage unification and complete repair. In this small to moderate MAP cars without stenosis, try the one stage bilateral unificalization and the central aorta to neopromatory shunt. Confluent promatory and the very hyperplastic, uh, the, the few MAP cars, initial approach is central AP window. And confluent promatory and the several MAP cars, but there is segment stenosis try the stage sequential unilateral unification and BT shunt. Uh, their results are excellent in 2009 report, 90% complete repair, and the RB to LB pressure ratio is less than half in three quarters of patients. Operation mortality is 11%. It is so excellent result. Uh, in the last year, they reported again their result. It they tried the single stage complete repair. The survival rate is 95%. And if they try the unification and shunt first, the result is a little bit uh, poor. And uh, if they try revision beyond the hilum, compared to the no revision behind the hilum, the freedom from reoperation is worse in this group. The second uh, approach is multi-stage operation. It means the one side unification PT shunt and the other side unification shunt and the finally T-shaped conduit and VST closure. Uh, unification left side and PT shunt and the right side unification and shunt and the later T-shaped conduit and the VST closure. Uh, this kind of approach was usually performed in Melbourne Royal Children's Hospital group. But however, in this report, uh, they realized among the 60 unificalized MAP cars, 26 thrombosed and 12 stenosis. 
So it's not good. So they realize they should change their policy. Uh, they realize the long-term quality of the repair based on the size and compliance of the native pulmonary arteries. The unicolized markers generally do not grow, and the surgical process may compromise the growth of the pulmonary artery. So the strategy is aiming at growing at the native pulmonary artery. So their new policy is contra CT scan or selective angel in one week old, <coughs> and the central shunt at one month, within months, and the CT MRI or CAS at three to four months, and the RB2PA conduit four to six months, and complete repair later. This is their policy. The third approach is uh, uh, the concept of rehabilitation of diminutive pulmonary arteries from Boston Children's Hospital. In the first stage, they perform RB2 uh, the, the diagnostic case to clarif clarify the confront pulmonary and the MAPCA and the stage two surgery, RB2 confront pulmonary conduit and the stage three cardiac cast to perform a balloon angioplasty of the stenotic vessel and the coil embolization of the dual supplied MAPCA and finally conduit change and the uh, repair of the pulmonary and the vest closure. This kind of concept called staged catheter surgery approach. Our hospital also took this, this policy. The background of, uh, is postnatally, pulmonary vessel continue increase in number, size, and length, and greatest in first 18 months, continue until eight years of age. And the growth of distal small vessel depends on flow to the distal parenchyma, and the goal is to optimize flow to the distal branches. So this kind of concept can be performed because of the, we can perform balloon dilatation. But if we cannot find out the native pulmonary, we should perform pulmonary vein with angiography to find out the native pulmonary. For example, one example, 50 days old, 2.5 kilogram PAVSD. We first check the CT. There are several map cars. It's on the back, we can only find out the one collateral. It goes to the aberrant right subclavian artery and goes up and going down and there are several map cars. We can find out the confront pulmonary here. So just like this, there's confront pulmonary and there are some map car one, two, three, four. So I performed the angio, the descending and the autogram shows only one collateral, and I advanced the catheter to check the mapka one to the right upper lung, and one mapka to the left lung, and another mapka to right lower lung, and the final mapka connect to the confluent promatory. We find out the confluent promatory like this. It measure the confront pulmonary 2.2, 2.5 millimeter only, very hyperplastic. So I, we, I can perform this angel with only 7 cc contrast. What's the secret is I use the saline contrast injection, contrast 1 cc and the saline uh, 6 cc, and by hand injection, we can get this kind of beautiful image. Next case is also co small confront pulmonary and then other map cars and perform the central shunt first and the RB2PA conduit so later you know, one, balloon, one to go. Uh, almost closed. It's a initially very small confront pulmonary but later we can mm. have a good enough pulmonary size. So I'll skip conclusion. Thank you for your attention.